Place names, that which we call a place, are an important part of day-to-day -day life. Though occasionally amusing, more often than not, we don't really think about these names, even though we rely upon them every day. We rely upon them to give directions. We also tend to feel a great sense of attachment to particular places, and often the names of those places. But when you look even more carefully, place names have a potential to reveal vital information about the past. There are four key language groups which have contributed to the names of places in the UK. These often describe the people or the geographical features of places in the past. The oldest of these linguistic traditions comes from the Iron Age with Celtic languages. Such place name elements include Abar, mouth of a river, Avon, river, Bryn, mountain, Caer, castle, Coed, woods, Coom, a deep valley, Llan, parish, Glen, a narrow valley, Pen, top or literally the head of a mountain, Puch, pond, and Trev, town. With these in mind, let's look at some examples, the first being Caer Narvon, or Carnarvon. Carnarvon is a town in northwest Wales, famous for its 13th century castle built by Edward I. The town is situated on the Menai Straits, opposite the island of Anglesey, also known as Anis Mon. So, what does Caer Narvon mean? This place name has its roots in the phrase Egair an Arvon, the stronghold or castle in the land against Mon. The next place name we shall examine is Betos Ecoid. Betos Ecoid is a beautiful town in North Wales, a so-called honeypot for tourism in the summer. But many who visit probably don't think about what Betos Ecoid means. It is thought that Betos is a corruption of the Old English Bedhus, bead house, or house of prayer beads. Located deep in the forested mountains of North Wales, the place name Betos Ecoid, therefore, rather appropriately, means the chapel in the woods. The next linguistic group to have an effect on what we call places in Britain were the Romans and Latin. Such elements include castra, referring to a Roman fort, colonia, a settlement, porta, a gate, portus, a harbour, and strata, a Roman road or street. So, let us examine Chester le Street. Chester le Street was founded by the Romans as the fortress Concangus, but today is a bustling town like any other. This town is located in the northeast of England, in County Durham, on a main thoroughfare to the south and to the north. So, the question is, what does Chester le Street mean? As you've probably guessed, Chester le Street means fort on a Roman road. Very appropriate. Our next Roman place name is Porchester. Since the Roman period, Porchester has been dominated by its Roman fort, later adopted by the Normans. Porchester is located on the south coast, between Portsmouth and Southampton. So, do we have any ideas of what Porchester might mean, and therefore might have been? That's right, Porchester means a fortified Roman port. Our next group named many places in Britain, the Saxons. The Saxons spoke Old English, and place name elements include Burna, brook or stream, Dun, hill, Egg, an island, Hal, a nook or corner of land, ham, a homestead, ham, an enclosure, ingas, the people of, lay, a clearing, stead, a place, tun, an enclosure, well, a well or spring, worth, an enclosure, and wick, a trading town. The first place name we shall examine for the Saxons is Norwich. Norwich is famous across much of the UK for its football club, also known as the Canaries. Located in the north of East Anglia, a place settled by the Saxons, it is unsurprising that it has a Saxon name. But the question is, what does Norwich mean? What can this tell us? Norwich, or Norwich, means northern trading town. This tells us something of its origins. Next, let us examine Wortham. Wortham is an ancient village, notably famous for its round tower church, one of only 38 surviving in the country. Wortham is located in the heart of what had been Saxon territory, not too far, incidentally, from Norwich. But can we understand something of this place's origin, by its name? What does it mean? It seems that Wortham had humble origins as a homestead with an enclosure. 
Our final linguistic group are the Vikings, or Norse, who brought with them the language of Old Norse. Elements include bi, a farm or village, balur, a dale or valley, gather, a yard, gill, a ravine, holmer, a flat ground by a river, kier, marshy woodland, lunder, a grove, meir, a swamp, ness, headland, thorp, a secondary settlement, thvet, or thwait, meaning a meadow, and toft, meaning the site of a house. Let us now examine our first Norse place name, Skelmersdale. This place largely grew with the Industrial Revolution, and today looks like many other towns across the UK. Located in the northwest of England, Skelmersdale is surrounded by other Norse place names, such as Ormskirk. But what does Skelmersdale mean? It seems that Skelmersdale was once a valley, belonging to a man called Skeldmar. For our next Norse place name, we travel to the town of Biker, made famous on children's television through Biker Grove. Today this town sits on the main thoroughfare, from Newcastle to the coast. It is located close to the River Tyne and Hadrian's Wall, and therefore the place called Walker. But what does Biker mean? Now you may be tempted to think that this place invented two-wheeled transport, but in fact, Biker, or Biker, was apparently founded as a farm in marshy woodland. And finally, some place names are remarkably literal in their meaning. Wall's End, just up the road from Biker, is in fact where Archeo Soup Productions is based. And that's right, you guessed it, Wall's End is where Hadrian's Wall ends. So, the name of a place and a little research offers archaeologists, and indeed all of us, the opportunity to understand a place without ever excavating or even visiting the place in question. And in this way, a place name is like an open biography, waiting to be read. And on that note, I shall end by challenging you to understand how the place called Ibarakum in North England became the place called York, and in doing so, you will learn a lot about its history.